with one thing only. Welcome everybody. In this section, we are going to talk about discovering access points that supposedly use the hidden service set identifiers as part of our CEH version 10 bootcamp. Let's jump in. So imagine that you're in the office and your co-workers who is responsible for the wireless measurements come to you and speak about the security measurements. So your response to your colleague would be something like this. First and foremost, disable the broadcasting of that SSID on the access point. And really, that is all we have to do. The first step is airmon-ng and the second step is airdump-ng in order to discover the APs. And if you're patient enough, and then you can see the hidden SSIDs pop up. If you're not patient, and you don't want to wait for at least one device to associate with the SSID which is currently hidden, from everybody else. You can launch a DOF attack and see and then you can specify how many authentication packets you're gonna send against the network which is gonna force the devices and the users which are currently associated with that hidden SSID to re-authenticate. If you go to the 5 GHz channel you can see a couple of SSIDs like these two but these are the only networks that are showing up Anyone who isn't broadcasting their SSID, it's not going to show up here and it's not visible to you. It's one of the advantages of turning off the broadcasting of the SSID. So an ordinary observer wouldn't even notice that this AP exists. Let's jump back to the air dump and listening on that monitoring interface. So now it's time to discover the access points by issuing the command airdump-ng and the monitoring interface. In our case, it's going to be wlan0mon. As you can observe here on the top left hand corner, it's probing through all the possible channels. It's going to try them out, it's not going to stop by the first channel, it's going to find every possible access point around us. What we are looking for in this case, it's going to be on the right side, under ESSID, which doesn't have any associated name with them. It's the length 0. It is not the name. We're going to figure that out, what the name of that is. So, we are done right now. If you wait long enough, you're going to see the name of that access point. After the people starting associated with that access point, it would show up and appear here. As you can see here in the properties of that length 0, you can see the BSSID, it's looking like a MAC address. And the channel, the associated channel in our case is channel 6. And you can see the corresponding encryption. But what we are going to do in this point is we're going to go ahead and only narrow it down and limit it and only focus on the channel number 6. So in this case, we figured that out which channel is associated with that AP. Now you can issue the command arrowdop-ng-c as in channel and the number of the channel. Uh, oh, I forgot to type the name of the channel. I'm going to go back. So after narrowing it down and focusing on that specific channel, it's going to be a little bit more faster. But it is not. Now that we know that what the SSID is, you can, you can wait. <clears throat> you can wait long enough, and after that, the name of the SSID is going to appear on the right corner. So it's not a problem, if you have enough time. But in most of the cases, you don't have time, or you're not patient, or you're going to do something else afterwards. So the best way is to focus on a specific channel which is associated with that regarding uh, access point, actually. So after you know the SSID, it is not going to take you lots of effort to join to that access point. Another thing which you want to share with you is, what if you don't want to wait? 
so that a couple of computers are associated with data access points. In that case, you're gonna use a deauthentication attack against the network. <laughs> In order to successfully launch a deauthenticated attack against the network, you can go ahead and type the BSSID as a part of your air replay attack. We're gonna use the dash zero, it is the deauthentication attack, and dash A represents the MAC address of that access point, and then the name of the interface which in our case it's going to be WLAN 01.